this is Matt with remove-malware.com and today I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Adelaire Anniversary Edition. Now on this PC I have Komodo Internet Security installed and Komodo did a fantastic job of removing hundreds and hundreds of pieces of malware however I'm still left with a few pieces of adware um, that uh, I don't want to track down manually, I don't want to manually find them take care of them with Komodo so I'm gonna go ahead and use a product that's dedicated to removing adware now I'll show you what kind of problem I have right now if I open up my Internet Explorer a lot of people ask me why are you using Internet Explorer well when I go out and visit customers 90 percent of them use Internet Explorer you know a lot of a lot of people my age use Firefox and Chrome and things like that, but uh, Internet Explorer has a massive market share, at least in St. Louis, so for me. So, anyway, if I search for uh, free antivirus, I want to go get uh, a free antivirus. So I'm going to go to free.avg.com, and what do you know? I get redirected to some site. Um, that's asking me to help them identify a click frog, which I've never seen before. But so I've got some I've got some adware still on my computer, and I'm hoping that adware, this brand new version of adware, will take care of this issue for me. So let's go ahead and install adware. I just downloaded this from download.com. We'll call it adware anniversary edition. I really wish they would just keep up with the whole number scheme. I have no idea. This is version 8 of Adaware Free. It's really confusing for a lot of people. They don't know what they get when they get the anniversary edition. Just say Adaware 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever. It's a lot easier for everybody. so many people I get requests every day for uh, for me to take a look at adware and this is how I would test adware I, I would test on a machine that's been pretty much virus cleaned trojan cleaned all that stuff um, and I test it against another internet security product like uh, Komodo or um, Kaspersky so right now I'm gonna go ahead and use Komodo Komodo sent Komodo's coming up their defense alert saying something's tried to you know implant a uh, registry key I'm going to treat this application as an installer. I'm going to go ahead and switch to installation mode. And that's on my uh, Komodo. So Komodo is the antivirus of choice, and you need adware to get rid of the adware on your system. Uh, right now, Komodo needs to install Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime 9.0. So let's back out. installed and now it wants to do an update so I'm going to go ahead and treat uh, Komodo Firewall came up and said this service is trying to go out on the internet I'm going to go ahead and treat it as a trusted application so Komodo lets it go out and grab its update 12 megabyte update the program is 32 megabytes to uh, download It's doing a pretty big update. It's replacing a lot of files. And I'll just keep treating these as a uh, trusted application. Right 
Yeah, my hard drive's kind of crunching, so I'm kind of waiting for this to finish. It should reboot near the end. Let's move our Adware tray down here now. Now, Adware Free, um, Adware Free does require you to manually scan. If you get the uh, Adware Plus version, uh, it will do automatic scanning uh, and protection for you. So hang on, I'm going to let this reboot. I'll be right back. Okay, the PC's rebooted. I'm going to go ahead and open up Adware. Right now it wants me to manage my license. I don't have a license, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit close. I just have a free copy of this. Uh, I've already done my update. You can see my updates current of 2009-32. Uh, scan is not yet performed. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some of the settings. And on scanning, you can see everything's checked. You get antivirus if you buy their little antivirus package. Uh, AdWatch Live, again, if you buy their um, their paid version, you get a bunch of other stuff. And uh, appearance, you can go ahead and change the appearance if you want to. So with everything being checked and ready to roll, I'm going to go ahead and hit Scan System. I'm going to do a full scan. It's just going to scan everything. And I'll go ahead and hit Scan now. Let that scan. Uh, one thing I really want to point out is, as it's finding uh, adware and malware, whatever you want to call all this stuff on here, mostly adware. As it's finding that stuff, it's not going to place them in this list until the very end of the scan, until it's done scanning. So, uh, which I would like to see items as they're found, you know, being populated in here. So I kind of, you know, think something's going on besides just the current object it's on. So, anyway, I'll uh, come right back after the scan's complete. Okay, the scan's completed. I found 183 items. It took 17 minutes. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is perform the recommended action. It says, why does LavaSoft recommend this action? I have no idea, but there's enough in here to click on and see what the recommended action is. I'll go ahead and set a system restore point just in case something goes horribly wrong. And I'll say perform actions now. And it's removing the items right now. Over here uh, on the left, I forgot to kind of say this, but uh, over here on the left, it gives you the family of the adware. And then um, I have the type, so if it's adware, privacy object, malware, miscellaneous, data miner, dialer. Uh, it gives me the quantity, and then um, I'm not sure what the TAI. So everything was removed. It says successful, but it wants me to reboot. So let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, the PC is rebooted, so let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. And what we're looking for here is we want to be able to click on links without being redirected. So at this point, I did a full scan with AdAware. Should be adware free now. Let's see. Well, no, I can't even get to Google. I'm still being redirected to uh, 
is a site that doesn't exist yet. Let's try and do another search. Let's search for free antivirus. And I click uh, ABG. I get uh, the same thing, browser dash secure. But if I go back, I'm having a hard time even going back. to uh, Avast, and I'm redirected to some other website. The best choice is that. So, in my opinion, AdAware um, is a big, it's kind of a big waste of your time. I mean, there's a lot of, there, there's many more choices out there that are better, such as Super Andrew Spyware, Malwarebytes, those are my two favorites. not that great for, for finding adware, which is what it's supposed to do. So um, I think you uh, can go ahead and skip this guy for now until they kind of get their act together. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and uh, pop a comment on or two, and uh, I'll go ahead and get to those comments. I got about 80 of them to answer this, this week, so I'm a little behind. But uh, go ahead and uh, Check this video out. Let me let me know what you guys think about Adaware, and uh, that's it for today. Talk to y'all later.